Japan, Canada, and me. My name is Mitsumi Takahashi. My parents came here in the 1960s. They'd met in Japan, in Shiroishi, in Sendai. They were studying mathematics at Tohokudai in Sendai. I was born in Shiroishi. That's just a little bit outside of Sendai. And I've, since we arrived here in the 1960s, I've grown up here, I went to school here. This is my home, Montreal. I found that as I've gotten older, I am more sure of who I am. I'm a Canadian who's very proud of my Japanese heritage. I work as a journalist for CTV Montreal. I am the main news anchor here. I've been working at the station now. It's been a long time. It's been about 30 years. I anchor the noon newscast and the six o'clock newscast. What does strike me and what I think did make Japan stand out and make a lot of North Americans take notice was right after the earthquake and the tsunami in 2011. And in the news coverage, what they saw were the Japanese in the affected areas of the tsunami. There was no looting, there was no crime, people stood in line. It was order, it was politeness, and I think that was something that struck a lot of North Americans, that even in the worst of times, look at how the Japanese conduct themselves. And I think that was a very striking example of the Japanese character. I think the media does play a role in introducing one culture to another, but then the culture has to be there. We can't cover Japanese culture if Japanese culture does not make an appearance here in Montreal. So I think when there are cultural events, then I think it's the responsibility of the media, especially given that we live in such a multicultural, diverse society, that all media should be looking at the events brought forward by any of our cultural communities. Japan, Canada, and me.